Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sahishram Malyala. I studied from NIT Varangal. Just got graduated this year. I'm here to resume my degree. But yeah, uh, I got a provisional degree. So things apart, I mean these things apart. Uh, so just a small in, uh, intro about me for all those who are watching me for the first time. If you still didn't subscribe to the channel, please do subscribe. Uh, and whoever is watching me since uh, days now, if you feel that my content is helpful for all of you, just I am expecting a written uh, small thing from you guys. Just a subscribe and a share to your family groups or uh, student like student class groups or friends group. Whoever is participating in JOSA, they might get helpful, right? So th in this video, I am going to give you some updates uh, rather than calling them updates. Something like important information uh, like regarding JOSA 2023. Uh, so in case you have missed out, uh, so that might be causing a problem to you, right? So that's why please stay tuned to the video till the end. So that it, any part of the video might be helpful to you or your friends who are participating in JOSA, which is one of the most important steps after preparing for two years rigorously for JE mains in order to get into IITs and IITs to this GFTS. If at all a single mistake happens, whatever they have done, the money, the time, everything will be go like everything will be of waste. So that's the reason. Don't uh, skip this video till the end. You can watch it completely and share it to wh whoever it requires. Okay, let's go. So firstly, uh, round two allotment results were out. I mean, the seat allotment of round two is out. So previously they released round one, and after a few days, after some process, uh, they have again um, analyzed everything, and again they have released the round two. So first I'll show you the schedule. So basically, I am here at the official website of JOSA. I've seen many people committing a lot of mistakes in JOSA counseling. That is the reason I have come up with this particular personal mentorship. So where a guide, a personal mentor will be guiding you throughout the JOSA counseling from each and every step A to Z. So the, in that you will not miss out on updates, in that you will not miss out on deadlines, in that you will not miss out on the actual process what you have to do. Many people have got their seat cancelled due to missing the deadlines, due to not providing the proper category certificate, even though I have made some videos related to category change formats. So if you don't want to put yourself in the trouble, you can join our personal mentorship where we'll guide you throughout the counseling process, even including CSAP at just rupees triple nine. So where a 24 into seven mentor will be assigned to you and regular mates from me will be also be there in this particular mentorship program. So we'll be adding you to the WhatsApp group. You can directly text me your queries or put that in the WhatsApp group or you can ask your mentors. So if you want to join that mentorship program, link for that particular mentorship program is in the description. Already almost 70 to 80 people have joined in the mentorship and they have like they are happy with the services which we are providing so if you also want to take that mentorship please check out the links in the description okay and i'm waiting for you guys uh, let me see how many people want to join the personal mentorship in order to complete this dosa counseling process smoothly without any problems okay so whatever updates you want to see newly everything will be updated here regularly so make sure you check out this particular area every time when you open dosa website so you might see some new notices coming up every day might okay not uh, it can be a day or something there might be some gap but still every day you might get some updates there so don't miss out these updates i hope you have uh, checked your round to seat allocation for josa 2023 if you still didn't check i will be leaving the link in the description just click that enter with your login with your details and just go and check it and uh, let me know in the comment section what seat you got and let me know if the seat got upgraded if you kept float or slide from the first round or not okay i am waiting for your comments so according to the schedule, round two allotment was given on July 6th, 2023, 5 p.m. What next? Whoever got seat in round one, whoever choose float, freeze, slide. Freeze, like they have paid the fees. For all of them, the next process will be after six rounds. They have to pay a partial admission fee. Whoever kept freeze, either in first round or either in second round, after paying seat acceptance fee. So now, uh, the date is like till July 10th, that is day after tomorrow. So today's date is 8th, right? Day after tomorrow, 5 p.m., you have an option to pay fee payment. So that means seat acceptance fee. Whoever got seat newly, they have to pay. Whoever got seat earlier in round one, they are waiting, like they kept float and waiting for upgradation. You need not to pay if your seat new, if you got new seat allotment in this particular round. Seat acceptance fee payment is only once, okay? You need not to do it twice, even if your seat got upgraded or changed, okay? Or uh, even like document verification is also once throughout the six rounds. After six rounds only, whoever have seat with them, I mean, in an ID play system, they have to pay partial admission fee. Others need not to pay. Okay. Now, 
if you got seat newly you have to complete the process fee payment document upload response by quantitative query and submit willingness if you want detailed video on that i will attach the round one video below the process will be same so the video is in the description please check that video okay next round uh, like round 2 july 11th 7 5 pm last day to respond to query if at all any issue is there in your documents they will raise a query you have to solve that query by 5 pm of july 11th okay please don't uh, miss out on this opportunity if at all you missed out any deadline your seat will be cancelled you will be out of the counseling so make sure you do it with proper uh, idea and proper guidance okay and next july 7th to july 11th so till july 11th 5 pm you have an option called withdrawal of seat exit from counseling withdrawal query response for example so if you want to come out of the seat whatever seat you have in round two after paying seat acceptance fee or round one after paying seat acceptance fee if you don't want that seat you want to withdraw you want to exit from the counseling what you can do is there is one withdrawal format so withdrawal format is all i'll show you the withdrawal format this is the format which you have to download and fill all your details like i want to withdraw my seat uh, please uh, provide me the refund like that so in place of like after clicking the withdrawal option or exit option which is available now so you can see from till the date 11th 5 pm after round 3 also still you can do so if you want to do it now also the option is available till uh, july 11th 5 pm so you can withdraw the seat your amount will be refunded back so this is about counseling second thing is you can also check the cutoffs like in for example uh, so the, i will leave this particular link so round one round two cutoffs i want to check institute also i can select mm. so now i'm selecting institute as so let's say let's check for nit warangal so i selected institute of nit so you can same choice filling how, how you did you, you have to follow the same process institute name so warangal where is warangal uh, yeah here it is warangal academic program i want to check for all so I, if you want to check for only i want to check for ews let's if you submit now if you see below so these are the cutoffs home state cutoffs and other state cutoff for ews so biotechnology this year in round two the closing rank is three six three double nine this is in round two so that's how you can check for all institutes cutoffs ranks so you can understand how much cutoff difference is there from your rank to the allotted rank okay so that you can uh, just just uh, analyze or you can just uh, guess whether you are going to get the seat or not in your uh, like in the college which you are looking for that's what okay uh, this is about the uh, opening and closing ranks i will attach the link in the description so the for candidates who have been allotted in seat one in round one acceptance fee yeah. like you have to complete seat acceptance fee guys if you miss out seat acceptance fee you will be out of the counseling many people are in misconception that if you keep float that means upgradation anyhow this seat is not we don't like this seat we want upgradation seat in that case we need not to pay the fees so this is wrong if you want if you got some allotment in order to continue you have to pay that seat okay and uh, last time i made a video related to obc general ews to general category conversion uh, declaration form right so they have now updated on the portal regarding the SCST to general category so that means like if at all you are unable to provide your SCST category certificate or, ge or general ews obc certificate you like whatever if you if that seat got allotted in that particular category they will ask for that category certificate right if you are not able to provide you can just download these particular formats enter your details and upload in place of category certificate in that case that seat will be cancelled from next round they will consider you for the general category so this is the process so last time in a separate video i have provided for obc ncl and general aws so now for scst this is the format i'll attach this format link also in the description please check that and this is for obc ncl and general aws to general category so if you don't want if you can't produce the certificate download these formats in place of certificate upload this from next round you will be considered into general category simple okay so that's all from my side guys from this particular video so like uh, if you uh, find this as a time worth video please make sure you like share and subscribe to the channel uh, i'll be coming up with continuous or regular videos related to josa counseling and all other counseling and related to some entrance exams too chill that's it for this video if you find this as a time worth video please do like share and subscribe see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind